you ready to carry triplets? About trauma? No, not trauma. Not just try. Age is no longer on my son's side. If you go through triplets four times, you will give me a dozen grandchildren. Dad. I'm really sorry for everything that I have done wrong. Please forgive me. Give you, but on only one condition. Jelly chicken, Mara. Okay, I told you that over the phone. Yeah, you did. But I hope this time you were able to like work out something. Watch, as usual. Pussy was in the way. Are you serious? <laughs> I'm not bothered. Though. I'm not worried about that. At the right time, mm -hmm. at the right time, Joanne, mm -hmm. <laughs> I will scheme her out of the way. Even if I die, oh. I know I'll die happy. Kate, who's talking about death? We're going to live together for many years. And what have grandchildren grow into responsible adults? Rita, how dare you talk to me like I that? I can talk to you anyhow I want because you're not my mother. What? Ah! Rita, 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 don't do this. Rita, Rita stop it. Rita! Project file. It's with me. Wow. Aren't you supposed to be handing that over as well? Well, the chairman instructed me to see to the completion of that job. The only reason why that job was handed over to you is because I was meant to go on suspension. 
I will land it over only when the chairman instructs me to do so. Don't get on my nerves, Nandi. I want that file back and I want you to hands off that job. Madam, let's talk to the chairman. This is not a negotiation, Mr. Okafo. I want you to report back here with that file. You have five minutes. Great news. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hey, Pierre. That's great news. The PDC have just shifted the ultimatum by two months. That gives us four months to complete the project, sir. Yes. It's awesome. It is. I didn't expect you came here to my office just to stare at my pretty face. No, sir. Um, I need your clarification on something, sir. What? The executive director just told me to hand back to her the MOG project and its relevant documents. Why would she say that? I don't know, sir. Jupiter, please come to my office. Of course, I made myself clear on that issue. She thinks you're asking me to take over because she's supposed to proceed on the suspension. No. Come here, Nan. Uh, Jupiter, please. Namdi here was just telling me that you asked him to hand over to you the MOG contract papers and relevant documents. Yes, Daddy. Why would you say that? I thought I made myself clear on that issue. I don't want that contract in your hands anymore. But Daddy, I want to undo the wrong I've done with regard to that contract. If you want to undo any wrong, go and look for Ashabi. But Daddy... And that is not negotiable, you are doing There are that you can go. Thank you very much, sir. Now. Oh, the bed? No. I'm done making it. Sure. Mm. Is that something that you need? Mm. Uh, not really. Okay, let me just remind you. I wonder why that whole back is so interested in the MOG project. The same project that landed her into trouble, right? Anyway, I'm glad the chairman put her in a place. Yeah, I'm okay. glad too, because somebody... Okay. Uh, hello, Susan. What? Susan, relax, relax. Tell me, where are you now? Which of the hospitals? Okay, just hang on tight. I'll, I'll be right there now. Yeah, I'm coming right now. What's the problem, Steve? Susan. Susan? What's wrong with her? Uh, Rita has been hospitalized. What, what is wrong with her? I don't know. 
And then the, I don't know when I get there, I'll find out. But she just sounded, you know, really worried. Look, bro. If yeah. there's anything I can do to help, please call me, okay? Yeah, of course, of course I will. Just, um, just, just look out for me, okay? Just take it easy, okay? Yeah. Take it easy, huh? Okay. The doctor is taking care of her. She's going to be fine.
I called the local on my way here. And then I had to leave a message for my elder sister because when I tried calling, it wasn't going to. And my girls will be here. Hopefully she'll be here. Your elder sister? Yes. Is she coming here? Of course, yes. Oh, God. What have I done? What am I going to say? Oh, God. You know she doesn't like me now. Oh, Susan, it's okay. I'm here. God, it's all my fault. <laughs> I should have listened when you spoke to me. <sighs> Susan. 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 <sighs> Listen. The deed is done, okay? It's no use crying over spilt milk. <laughs> what am I going to say? How could I be so, so unreasonable? Susan, stop it. Stop it. Blaming yourself or crying is not going to solve this issue. It was an accident. An accident that would have been averted if only I had listened. Conference. Now, woman, leave this. Place. What has come over you, Zenab? You're asking me what has come over me when you go about sleeping with all these prostitutes. Enough of this nonsense, Zenab! Now go home. No. I said go home! You know what? You'll come and meet me at home. And as for you, prostitute, you have just signed your death warrant. You'll hear from me. And that is what she does at home. Look, listen, listen, my dear. I'm sorry, baby, baby. Baby, baby. baby. Hey, she's not your type. Whatever. Oh, so anyway. Remember, you owe me one. We'll keep in touch. Let's go, John. Justin! Ha! I never came. What is wrong with you? Don't get this. See, we really need to put an end to this whole crap because it's really pissing me off. What exactly do you have against Justin? See, all I can tell you is that that guy is bad. 
I mean, real bad. Bad, you said? Yes. So, how could you tell? Do you know this guy before I introduced you both? Um, see, I know good people when I see them. And Justin is not just one of them. For goodness sake, he's not enough. You have to convince me the guy is bad. Okay? If you want me to quit the relationship, all you need to do is convince me and I'll do whatever you want me to do. See, I, I really don't have any physical um, evidence to show you. But, Betty, you must take me by my way. It's still not enough. She'll be fine. We had a bit of complication, <laughs> but um, we took care of things. But as it is now, she's unconscious. What? Did you say unconscious? You witch! You won't kill my daughter! What's your problem? I just don't mind. Hey, 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 ladies and gentlemen, take it easy. This is the hospital. I promise you, you will not get away with this, Isaac. Okay? Don't get in my way again. What's wrong? What's your problem? Hello. Easy. Say I love this. Madam. Your daughter is going to be alright. We'll do everything that we can, alright? She will eventually pull through and regain consciousness. Just, just take it easy. Just take it easy, okay? Alright? No, just take it easy. Don't, 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 You don't frown for too long, you know. Senator, your wife embarrassed me in public. Yes, I know. And she's going to pay for it. I will deal with that when I get to. But my angel, I want you to smile for me. That smile will cost you a lot. Just a minute. The contract I heard you discussing with your colleague over the phone, I want you to influence it for me. The... The Jalike Rural Electrification Project? Whatever. Hello, distinguished senator. Distinguished senator. <laughs> uh, yes, I'm in Lagos. I'm in Lagos. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, now listen. The Ijaniki Rural Electrification Project. I have a capable house that is interested in executing it. Yes. Yes, uh, it's okay. That's good. Oh, thank you so much. And um, I will also appreciate a hundred percent mobilization. What about that? Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> now I'll see you in Abuja in three days. Bye. What? It's yours. Oh. 
are you serious? <laughs> Thank you, Senator. You're such a wonderful man. All right. Just get your bidding documents ready. Hmm? I will have to take them along to Abuja in three days. Oh, Senator. <laughs> Thank you so much. Right. I really do appreciate this. Mm. <laughs> My angel. Let's see. I think it would be a lot better if you thank me on that bed. Oh, Senator, uh, you're such a nutty man. <laughs> 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 It's just you and me. See, Amaka, believe it or not, what happened to Rita was just an accident. An accident my foot. You think I don't know what your plans are? See, let me tell you what, what I think. This situation, I mean, this whole thing is just an excuse for you to get at me. But I tell you, I am still the woman Steve loves. How dare you! How dare you lay your hands on my wife? Oh, here comes the defender of the universe. So, Steve, what is he going to be now? Are you going to beat me up like you used to? Just listen to me, okay? I can take it when you insult me. But if you ever try to lay your hands on my wife again... Not more than she hurt my daughter. In case you do not realize, Rita is all that I have got in this world. What happened was an accident. An accident? Is that what you really want to think about? She doesn't want Rita anywhere close to you. Oh, um, you don't know what you're talking about. Of course, you're not going to admit it. A coward is always a coward. You have not changed, Steve. I won't take that from you, Amaka. <laughs> you know what? It's pointless. I won't spend my time or waste my time talking to you. And as for you, you had better pray that my daughter comes out of this in one piece. Otherwise, Amaka, it will be bad for everybody. I will not just report you or turn you over to the police, I will kill you with my bare hands. Here now. No, Daddy, I don't want to see her. It's okay. I don't want to see her. Mother, don't believe. Please. Downstairs together, but she left with her friend. She went home to get some things. Sorry. Yes. She'll be back soon. Uh, yeah. oh.
Look here, honey. How are you now? It's okay. You'll be all right. She won't hurt you again. As soon as this is over, I'm going to take you somewhere where no one will hurt you again. Amaka, I think it's best you respect yourself. Steve, it's okay. No, 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 it's not okay. What nonsense is this? Where are you taking her to? This girl is all I have got in this world. I am not going to sit back, fold my arms, and let one woman kill her for me. Nobody is going to kill her. That idiot will kill her. Amaka, it's okay. We'll talk about it later. Of course. We'll talk about it later. Sudden interest, I don't understand. Uh -uh. it. That's happen. what they're saying. Uh -uh. I was the one now. Come, where did you meet him? I don't know. Anita talked to me. I said that guy is fine. Uh -huh. Where did you meet him? Say you're looking at fine. Go and find out yourself. Where did you meet him? Find out now. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Buy your laptop that you said I should buy it for you. I was actually thinking of buying it. You buy 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 it. Are you ready to talk to me? Good. Where did you see that guy? Well, we used to be family friends. Till his dad and my uncle had this problem since then. Yeah. Things have not been the same. That guy Sophie is dating. He's his elder brother now. Are you serious? Uh -huh. That guy? Ray, that's his name. Hmm. That explains it now. Wow. That means good looks. Wrongs in the family. I don't like all these things. Which no, one is this now. See them now. See ah, ah. The guy is fine. But on a very serious note, it's not all about good looks. Mm -hmm. so. hey, you're it's like not that. all about good looks. Do you think that guy can deliver? <laughs> Justin, do you think he can do the job? <laughs> Justin, hey, he thinks like this. He's a pro. <laughs> He's done something like this for me before. Mm -hmm. See, I used him to destroy a relationship a few years ago. <laughs> Anita, <laughs> bad. <laughs> <laughs> I was listening. To you. you know you won't kill me. You, cool and deadly. <laughs> You say that again. Uh, uh, you take my time now. You know you're such a schemer. Let's just say I have a way of getting what I want. You sure do, and my dear. I want it. You <laughs> sure do. Anita, <laughs> that girl they call Rita <laughs> or whatever her name is. <laughs> By the time I'm through with her in yeah. this town, I can't shout. Though. By the time I finish with her, Anita cannot shout. She wish she had never been born. Only that. I mean, they will trust me when I handle her. Hey, uh, in this town. Hey, give me a sign. How is she? She's fine. She's fine. Oh. She'll be observed for a few days. So, Doctor, I know how much you'll be disappointed at No, 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 please. Please, please. Don't even go there. Please. What happened was an accident. Let's just leave it at that. Okay. Are you going back to the office? Yes. I'm going back to the office now. And I think you should go back home too. No. I'm not going home now. I'm going to be here till... No, no. Let, let me tell you what will happen if you stay. You're going to run into problems with... My sister, Anamaka, is that what you want? No. Good. I suggest you go home, freshen up. I could drive you home while you leave the car here. 
No, I can drive. Sure. Can I show you the drive? Yes. All right, then. Let's go. It's been a long day. Not the right time. Okay. She's going to be fine. Don't be the building of that. Besides, it's going to give me an opportunity to get back at that imbecile. Charles. Justin, what exactly do you have against the guy? Huh? Why are you talking like this? See, he feels he's more decent than anyone else. I don't like that. I don't like it. That's all? Is that all? Well, back in the day, you know, my mom used to you know, compare me to him saying he's more decent, he's brilliant, he's smart, and I never liked it. That means you harbored some kind of hatred for him. <laughs> Nicky boy. Well, at that time, yes. Yes? Yes. Believe me. But you know, we got into secondary school and... Man, you know how it is? I snatched his girlfriend and he never got to her. That means he had to obtain that school. Get that booty over here. Come on. Uh, 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 that's my girl. No chill, just chill, right? Just give me some minutes, okay? You want something to drink? No, Justin, let's go. Alright, just give me some five minutes, alright? Alright. Alright, girl. That's my booty. Well, actually, I think it's getting late. We need to bounce. Alright, give me some time, man. Let me take a leg, get dressed, and we bounce. No problem, my man. Chill, man. Good evening, sir. Hello, how are you? Hi, sir. Good. I don't too like this room. This is this place is bad for you. Look, look, look. We ate before you came in. Um, Mama, Angela, and myself. Okay. Honey, do you know what? Oh. That girl actually washed her clothes and swept everywhere. Really? Hmm. Oh. Yes, sir. When I came home this afternoon, I was so surprised. I met everywhere sparkling. Then she's a good girl. Yes, she is. She is. Honey? I'm thinking of um, going to Ghana to get some gold. I've actually run out of stock. Mm. Mm. So, when are you planning to leave? Let's say in two days' time. Oh. I'll even use that opportunity to see Tony as mother too. Oh, 
just from Sophie's room. She was not there. Oh, yes. She called me about 20 minutes ago to say that she was with Raymond. At this time of the night? I thought I made it perfectly clear that I do not like late night outing. Darling, she'll soon be back. She'll soon be back. Oh, I let you call to say that uh, he arrived the U.S. safely. Oh, really? That's good news. How are his parents? Oh, they're fine. <sighs> That's good news. We talked about something uh, before the young man left for the U.S. And what can that be? <laughs> You'll be surprised, uh, these young folks. <laughs> yes. You can never imagine what they get up to. <laughs> uh <-huh>. So? <laughs> You're curious about this? Oh, of course I'm curious. You're sure you want to know? I do want to know. So what is it? <laughs> <sighs> He's interested in Sophie. <laughs> Mm. I've always known that. I noticed the way he looks at her. <laughs> ah. thought about the number of kids we're going to have? No. Why? Maybe because we've not talked about it. Hmm. But tell me, what number would you think, you know, what would you suggest? Four? Say like um, two boys and two girls. Hmm. Fair enough. But I'd like a large family. Uh, I'll go for four boys and four girls. Hell no. <laughs> Except you're going to be the one to deliver the four boys. <laughs> yeah, then you have to be Ray and I'll be Sophie. Oh, please. <laughs> oh, man. Mm. Sweetheart. Yes, darling. You know, when a man finds a jewel, wants to hold and cherish it for the rest of his life. Yeah, I think you're right, sir. I'm saying life is full of ups and downs. Others think differently. But whatever I choose, I have found in you all I need to go through it. Um, see. Let me finish with her. You simply stand for everything good. You're beautiful, you're adorable, you're pure, and you're compassionate. And that's exactly why I'm doing this. Doing what? Thank you. Uh, excuse me, we didn't order for any food. I did. Especially for you. For me? Go on. Open it. Ray. Come on. There's no crab inside. Open it. <laughs> oh my god. Ray. So that beautiful. I have found a treasure in you. Will you marry me? And be my wife? my companion, and my future, and I promise to love and cherish you for the rest of my life. Yes, I will. I love you. I love you. Let's drink to death. To our future. To our future. To our love. 
to our loves. And to the four boys and four girls. No way! <laughs> to us. To us. What is your name? 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 What is Correct, guys. What? What you collect all the toilet? Start knocking before entering this room. And? <laughs> you know, when you get like that, there's only one thing involved. You're having problems with Rita, she? <laughs> hello, hello, Angel. What's up? I, I've, been calling, I've been calling your phone all day. What's happening? Where's Rita? Oh my god. Where's the hospital? Oh, come on, go. No, come on. This tour is too far. Please. All right. If you insist, I, I'll call you tomorrow then. Please, send me high school. Are you serious? Why would she do a thing like that? She has a two-faced plan for her husband. Who brings what time to believe in that? Tonya was a liar in the mix. And so? She threw her out on the street? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Basically, there's only one hell of a time for that girl. And what is your father doing about that? <laughs> well, he was only trying to be diplomatic about it. By saying you would find an alternative accommodation for Tony. Well, I don't want that to be a problem now. Tony, I can come and stay with me. No, Mom. I won't tell where I am. And besides, you don't have a job. How do you want to take care of her? What? You don't have a job? Uh, Auntie, I lost my job. Hey, come on, darling. Don't talk like that. You know I love you. All right. Okay? Oh, well, I'll fix it up. Okay, all right. I'll talk to you again, okay? All right. Love you too, baby. <laughs> all right, bye. <laughs> Seriously, what's the special about this bicycle? girl? <laughs> Nothing. Come on. I keep telling you. I just want to get down with her like I did with the other ones that came before her. That's all. I know, but it's just that I get, I just, I just get scared when I get carried away. That's all. 
carried away with Betty. Are you kidding me? Come on. Did I see you calling her the lady in public? That is called acting. By the way, where is this coming from? Are you jealous? Huh? Me? <laughs> Nobody deserves you better than I do. Oh. I've made a lot of sacrifices for you, you know. <laughs> you seem to forget that I did the same thing for you. I stole my dad's money to pay your school fees, remember? Money is not all I need from you. Really? So what's the meaning of this? Huh? Money is not all you want from me. What else do you want from me? What do you want from me? Tell me. See that. <laughs> Good. Very interesting. <laughs> Good evening, Daddy. <laughs> Good evening, Mom. Well, I am getting married. <laughs> Ray has finally proposed. <laughs> <laughs> exactly what you have been waiting for. Yes. Isn't it so lovely? Oh, so beautiful. What? <laughs> Thank you so much.